So, two years ago, I was looking to make some money online, aka not having to spend all my life on a 9 to 5 job and, if possible, to make some friends along the way. For that goal, I knew that I have to build an audience that would trust me. And not just an audience, I want a community, I want people, connection, and people that I can call friends. So if I didn't do this one thing, I knew that I would felt incomplete and that I couldn't sell any product because no one would trust me, no one would know what my intentions really are. So what helped me go from point zero to point one? Well, it is this one amazing book that I reviewed on this channel, which is Show Your Work by Austin Leon. This book really pointed me to the exact direction that I craved to go because the solution was sharing my work. Not my meal, not my vacation, just pure work. Sharing the things that I love so that I could connect with people that would share my passions. And this is you guys. So after reaching that point, you would now have an audience that supports you, that trusts you, that helps you, that motivates you, and that understands you because they have the same passions that's, that you do. And a big plus is that now you can build a product based on their needs. You can basically ask them what do they need. And because you have the same interest that they have, you have an insight in the domain that they love. And so you can come up with an amazing product that would sell immediately. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Paul and I'm a student who really struggled with this topic about sharing something online. Because I often saw social media as a way of people showing off. And I wasn't into that. I didn't want to make anyone feel bad because I had something that they didn't. But this wasn't really the right mindset for me. And so I learned that sharing your work is crucially, crucially important. And so if you're in this position now that you struggle to put yourself out there, I strongly suggest you checking out the video where I review the best tips given in the book Show Your Work by Austin Cleon, which you can check out right here. Now, if you're ready to start this wonderful journey and to expand a little of your comfort zone, I welcome you into my space and let's get started talking about how you as a student can build an online presence. First one is to share any part of the process that you are in right now, any kind of work. If you are in the early stages of doing something, share your influences, share something that inspires you. If you are in the middle of executing a project, share your methods, share some part of that process. If you've just completed a project, share the complete outcome, share the final result and your work behind it. And if you have lots of projects out in the world, share how they're doing today, share how people interacted with them and how it influenced your life. So for students, take me for example. What I do here is show my work, show my progress. Here I share only what I learned. I share how I discovered the methods for studying, what works for me, how I discovered the idea of financial freedom and what I do to achieve it. If you are doing just an interesting homework at the moment, share the essay, the final, final essay, or just share the first draft and put it out into the world for people to interact with it. And I am sure that you would find a lot of new inspiration, a lot of ideas coming from different people. Think about what you can share from your process that would inform people that you are trying to reach. Have you learned a craft? What are your techniques? What are you skilled at using certain tools and materials? What kind of knowledge comes along with your job? This is all stuff that people crave to know. Although it may seem like this is usual stuff for you that no one has an interest into, I am sure that people would find these types of stuff important and inspiring. Okay, the second one is to not show lattes or meals or selfies from a fancy vacation that you went on. People can't relate to that stuff. They will only see it as a show off. And maybe you don't want to show off, but this is how it looks from the outside world. No one is really that interested into your personal life, except maybe five to ten close friends that you have, but the other majority of people are not really that interesting in you. And this may seem a little hard at first, but after you realize this, you can expand your creativity in so many ways that can only bring you joy. And what I refer here is to post things that can be familiar to people, like actions, like work, like feelings, and not just objects. Because this is what inspires people. This is what makes people relate to you. Some certain situations that you're in, some certain problems that you encounter, some certain lessons that you've learned along the way. This is what 
people would find valuable and they would love you for it. Okay, so now that you know what you should share and what you shouldn't share, let's talk about where should you start your online audience and your where can you build an online presence? What is the best platform for you to start right now? And my answer for that is just start with the social media account that you have right now and the one that you use the most. For me, it was Instagram. I was much, much familiar with Instagram that, than with other social media accounts like YouTube or TikTok or Facebook and just start posting work on that and let people judge it. Let people give their opinion about it and listen to them and try to filter your work, try to make it better or just enjoy it and maybe you will find people that would share the same passions that you have and that can only make you much much happier okay so a little resume of all of the platforms out there are instagram is great for photos for giving the in process look of the things that of the thing that you are working on right now twitter is just for sharing some ideas some thoughts some feelings that can make people relate to you and in that way you can connect to a much larger audience than just with Instagram. TikTok is another big one where you can show a video format of your in-progress view of the thing that you are working on, but it can reach millions of people and it's the best platform to reach large numbers of people with no time investment in the beginning. Because with Instagram and with Twitter a little bit, you need to build this audience from zero, which is really, really hard. It took me like two months to reach a thousand followers on Instagram, a story about which I talk more in a video up here. But yeah, uh, I suggest TikTok. TikTok is a really great platform to get started if you are doing videos about your work. Start a personal blog. This is the most amazing thing that you can do and it will massively help you to reflect on your life, to reflect on your ideas, your perspectives and your opinions. This was so amazing of an experience that I started this year and I'm so glad that I did it because it helped me think so much better. It helped me reflect on the things that I enjoy and the things that I love and it helped me see what those things were and what I could do to do them more often, to enjoy them, to enjoy life more often. Yes, this has a little bit of a learning curve and it can be a little hard at the beginning, but I have a video about how you can start an online blog on my channel, which you can check out up here. I saved the best one for last, and that is starting a YouTube channel, which I know can seem pretty hard. Maybe you are a little afraid to put yourself out there in that sense, but it was amazing. It is amazing. I love doing this. I love filming stuff for you guys, and I enjoy it so much. I recommend starting a YouTube channel to all of you watching right now. It was so amazing of a journey. I found a lot of inspiration, motivation, a lot of people, a lot of support and a lot of joy that I didn't even expect in the beginning because the community and the audience is what I really craved after. And on that note, I can encourage you to watch the video up here where I talk about the things that I wish I started sooner when I was still living with my parents from financial tips to how to develop joyful experiences and how to live your best life when you are living with your parents and what opportunities you can go after. Now that you reached the end, it really means that you enjoy it, which makes my heart pump one more gram of dopamine per minute, which I must thank you so much. I love this stuff that I'm doing and I can only do that because of you guys. And thank you, thank you, thank you again for that. Now I wish you an easy start, less criticism from your parents and an amazing, amazing weekend. Have a great one. Bye.